Welcome to World War II Chronicles, a weekly tribute to America's fighting men and women in commemoration of the Second World War. These programs are narrated by Ed Herlihy and are based on the news broadcasts of the war period from the recorded sound collection of the National Archives in Washington, D.C. As the Soviet offensive rolled onward, the Russians continued to be aided by Anglo-American merchant convoys. Each convoy had its own drama. Weather and sea conditions were arduous, and there was the constant threat of German naval attacks. An allied convoy plowing through the stormy, windswept North Atlantic. A rough passage that has Liberty ships and patrol boats wallowing in the heavy sea. By 1943, convoys to Russia were achieving greater and greater success. Yet the German Navy, desperate to aid its comrades on the Eastern Front, continued to send its surface fleet against the convoys. On December 25th, the German battlecruiser Scharnhorst sailed to attack Allied transports. However, screened by heavy weather, the cruiser was unable to locate the Allied ships. The Scharnhorst attempted to shoot up a Lee Slend convoy. Apparently, the German battleship hoped to score a fast hit and run action and then ducked back into the protection of a Norwegian field order. The Scharnhorst was surprised by the shadowing British warships, which they had not spotted in the Arctic gloom. The Germans add that their last active battleship was encircled. The British Navy has destroyed the Nazi mystery battleship, the Scharnhorst. The destruction of the Scharnhorst ended effective German efforts to block the Russian convoys. It also marked the last effort of the German surface fleet to challenge British naval power. Although the Scharnhorst is only one ship, still its loss will redound measurably for the Allies. I'm Ed Hurleyhe. Join me next time for World War II Chronicles. World War II Chronicles was produced by the American Veterans Center and Radio America in cooperation with the National Archives. To listen to more episodes, subscribe on iTunes or visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org. We need your help to keep the legacy of our World War II generation alive. Visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org to make a donation to support World War II Chronicles and the ongoing work of the American Veterans Center.